youth unemployment is, is high in the young people. A lot of young persons are unemployed. We have a situation with the cost of living. Um, a lot of persons, even outside of the youth, are still unemployed even after COVID and stuff is picking back up. A lot of young persons and persons generally throughout the constituency can't pay bills, they've been able to pay a check to pay a check. There's no real ease. You have the increasing water rates, you have the increasing utilities, um, fuel, um, bus fares. For example, you have a student, and even before real, before COVID, he was paying um, 350 um, traveling from Long Gap, which is also in the constituency, to town, right? Then to the Ivy to go to the Barrios Community College, that's seven dollars back and forth, that's fourteen dollars, then seventy seventy dollars um, a week. And he comes from humble beginnings, and there's no one in that household who's working to assist him. So, again, and there was never any real relief for him, a student trying to improve his well being and, and work towards building a future for himself and his family. No real representation, no real assistance from the MP to say, well, listen, I understand what you're doing here. Let me give you a part-time job or a little level of assistance so that you get to and from school and you could actually build a life for your family. And it is, it's clearly lack of representation in the whole and speaking on the real issues. Yes, if you, if you be honest. There's some a few roles within the constituency which would have been done. A young man from Belfield recently reminded me he cannot eat his meals, right? And, and that, is, that is pretty much the number one um, issue, lack of representation in constituency. Okay, so in that coming weeks, obviously until election, mm -hmm. what can constituents expect from you? What, what can I expect to see from you? Hearing the, um, the concerns, talking to people, getting back to the people. The, as I said, the lack of representation calls you to go back to the people and hear them cry. And then go to the draw, um, drawing table and to see how we can craft policy and work with constituents to see how we can best make sure that every single person in the constituency can raise their standard and deliver and at least live daily. Okay. Um, given you to say that there's apparently a lack of representation in certain mm -hmm. areas in this constituency. Is it safe to say that you count your chances of being very good in the coming election? Yes, certainly. Um, I would have been working um, in the constituency um, for the last two or three years and um, I've always had a presence in the constituency. From 11 years old, I would have organized um, a cricket tournament um, in Belfast. So community outreach is nothing, nothing new to to me, I've been working among the people for COVID when you, um, COVID first came. Um, me and the, um, some of the, my constituents, so my um, charity, uh, KBA Foundation, we would have done 130 plus uh, food hampers. And this is even before the MP decided to do anything. We would have done uh, community outreach uh, programs. We acknowledge 55 uh, frontline workers for independence. Um, we have done we have a, a boys in the uh, hood program where young men in constituency come together and we do take part in any wholesome activity as in it, which will help develop the constituency. The last project in which we did, we did a cleanup um, at Belfield um, faster and what we did, we donated cans and got the kids around the area that will utilize the park to come paint their hands on the, the can, pretty much to encourage them as young um, children to understand the, the importance 